Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Hello. 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 Okay. So welcome to my class. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very good. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Great. All right, so welcome to my class. I am Teacher AM. Okay, and I will be your demo teacher for today. All right. So now, what is your name? My name is Long. Long. Okay, so hello, Long. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Very good. How old are you, Long? I'm 11 years old. Oh, very good. So young. Okay, how are you today? I'm good. Thanks. Wow, that's really nice. How is the weather in your place right now, Long? The weather here is sunny and I think it's gonna, gonna rain. Oh, you think that it's gonna rain. Great. Oh, yeah, that is quite similar here. Usually during the day here in my place, it is sunny. Okay, but later at night or in the afternoon, it will rain. What's your favorite weather? My favorite, my favorite weather is sunny. Oh, why do you love sunny? Because it, it can't against me of playing sports. All right. Oh, speaking of sports, what sports do you like doing? I like playing badminton or playing football. Oh, that's really interesting. How often do you play badminton? I play it every day afternoon. Oh, you always play? in the afternoon very good okay so who do you play badminton with i play with my friends and play football with my cousins nice okay do you also play football in the afternoon every day i sometimes play football in the afternoon every day Sometimes All play. Right. Yeah, just sometimes. Okay, so what about today long? What did you do in the morning? I played football with my cousin. Oh, nice. Did you go to school in the uh did you go to school today too? No, I have um uh, I don't have to go to school because mm. that is a school trip today. Oh, I see. Okay, so um, have you gone in a school trip today? No, or I no? don't go. Oh, okay. So thank you so much for answering my questions, Long. So, Long... Um, I've asked you a question if you have gone to this cold trip and you've said, no, I don't go. Okay, instead of saying, no, I don't go, you can say, no, I didn't go. Okay. Okay. Um, teacher AM, why do I have to say I didn't? Okay, because didn't is the past tense of don't. And the school trip happened, okay, already. So if it happened already, which is in the past, then we use the past tense didn't. Is that, is that, um, do you got it? 
I got it. Very good. All right. Now look at your book. What can you see? I can see animals like cheetah, zebra, geograph, elephant, flamingo, bear, and deer. Wow, very deer. good. Okay, so which is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is dog. Dog. Very good. Do you have a pet dog? Yes, I got a pet. But now it is staying with my grandparent. Oh, what kind of pet do you have? Is it a dog, a cat? Is a dog with a feather all white like clouds. Ah, I can imagine it. And it is very cute. What's the name of your pet dog, Long? He, his name is Bong. Bong. Oh, how old is he? Mm, he is two years old. Oh, wow. Very young. Okay, you know what? I also have a pet dog. His name is Max. And Max has many fur. He is a golden retriever. Do you want to see him? Yes, of course. Okay, so here's Max. That is my, oh, wow. this is my pet dog Max. Actually, he's in the cage. If you can hear some dog barking, then that is Max. Yes. All right. Anyway, I'm long. Let's get started. For today's demo class, we will just have a speaking test. Okay. So now, do you have any nickname or long is already your nickname? I have a nickname. Um, it is B. I'm sorry? My nickname is B. Mean, like M-I-N-A? No, B. Oh, let me see. B. Okay. So, yes. So, who are the people who calls you B? Is it your family? Is it your classmates, your teachers? My family called me B. And oh. my oldest sister gave me that nickname. Ah, okay, yes. Nickname. Oh, very good. So, well, what do you prefer for... Oh, how do I say this? Okay, so which name do you prefer me calling you, Long or B? You're calling me Long. Great. Okay, and I like it too because it's very easy to remember. <laughs> okay, so Long, um, do you playing with your friends aside from playing football and um, badminton? Yes, instead of playing badminton and football, I play with my friend like cycle or playing video games. Mm, so you like cycling with your friends. So that means you have a bicycle. Is that correct? Yes, and my friend too. Oh, very good. Okay, so what's the color of your bicycle? It's black and blue. Oh, and my nice friends, combination. My friend's bike is red and black. Mm, great. Okay, so how often do you ride a bike with your friend? Mm, I cycle. 
ride the bike with my friend is I sometimes play I sometimes ride a bike with my friend in the afternoon if both of us don't want to play badminton. Mm, I see. And where do you usually go with your bike? Mm, I cycles I cycle around my neighborhood. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, what about in going to school? How do you go to school? Is it you is it by bicycle too? No. My mom don't let me cycle to school, so I go to school by motorbike. Motorbike. My... Are you the one driving? No, my mother or my father drive. I see. Okay. Because I was a little shocked when you would say um, you are the one driving because you are too young to drive. Okay. So thank you for answering that one, Long. Now, Long, look at the picture here. There are two pictures, picture one and picture two. Okay, now each of the picture is different. They look the same, but if you pay attention to every details, they have differences. So what are, what are, we, what are you going to do? You're going to pay attention to those differences and tell me. Okay, mm -hmm. so now let in me give you an, oh, a go, sure. In, in picture one, the time is night and in picture two, the time is day. The, the chef is a man in picture one, but in picture two, the chef is a woman. In nice. In picture one, under the desk, the the girls there's are the girls, but in picture two, there are two boys. Mm -hmm. And under the under the table, in picture one one there's a fork and there's there are fox and knives but in picture two there aren't okay and and the spoon under the table in picture one is is gray but in picture two it is yellow. Anything else? Yeah. On the wall, the the picture is is um boat in picture one, but there's a tree in picture two. Very good. The 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 old man it is sitting on the chair in picture one, but the old the old man is standing in picture two. Nice. On the red table, on the red table, the there's a lamp. But there's a um, flower, bottom of flower in picture two. The waiter in picture one is wearing a black pants, but in picture two, he's wearing a green pants. Nice. I think there's one more left. What do you think it is? Oh, two more left. Um, 
let me see mm, there's a Is there a poster in picture one? Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, in picture one, the, the old woman have... Uh, in picture one, there's... There are fruits on the um I forgot it. That's all right. So in picture one there are food on their plate, but in picture two there aren't food on it on their plate. All right. So what about yeah. this one? Look the door and the wall of and the wall from the kitchen. Is I, there any difference? I was thinking about it. Oh, okay. Then you can tell me about it. Yeah. There's a pot there's a there are the poster on the door and on the wall. In the kitchen, but in picture two, there was no poster in the kitchen. All right. Well done, Long. Okay, so give me a high five. Imaginary high five. Great. Okay, so very good because you spotted all the differences between picture one and picture two. So job well done. Okay, but let's review some of your answer long. Okay, so here you've said that in picture one, there are, okay, there are spoons and fork on the under the table. Actually, that is on the table. And here, okay, is and are, we use is, if it's singular, and we use are if it's plural. For example, instead of saying in picture one, there is spoon on the floor or under the ta table, we can say in picture one, there are spoons under the table or on the floor. All right? Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay, but... You've got a star for that one long. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. So David and Emma are friends. Their fathers are, are friends too. But I don't know anything about David's father, but you do. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some question about David's dad. All right, so let's get started. How old is David's father? He is 35 years old. Very good. His What's his job? Job, job is a teacher. Where does he, he work? Is working in, he's working in a university. And what time does he come home? He come home at 7 o'clock. Nice. And which sport does he play? He plays football. Wow, very good. So you have another one star for that one, Long. Okay, so Long, for question number four, I've asked you, what time does he come home? And you've said he come home at seven o'clock. Is there something wrong with that sentence? Not really. Okay, because I understand and you are correct. Your answer is correct. However, okay, since David John, I David's dad is only one, and you said he, very good. Okay, if the pronoun is he, 
what happened to the verb? It would be, we add S, not the base form of the verb. He comes home at 7 o'clock. All right? All right. Okay. But if the pronoun is they and I, then that's the time that you say, I come home at 7 o'clock. They come home at 7 o'clock. But if it's he, she, or long, which is a name, we say, long comes home at 7 o'clock. He comes home at 7 o'clock. She comes home. Okay. Now, this time, let's okay. switch. I will be the one to answer your question and you will be the one to ask me questions just like what i did in part one you can do it long how old is he okay emma's father is 39 years old what job is he his job Oh, he's a doctor. Where is he working at? He's working at the hospital. What time does he come home? He comes home at half past seven. What sport does he play? He plays tennis. Very good. Okay, but let's review... This one, you said, what job he? Instead of saying what job he, you can say, what's his job? All right, so here it is. Can you please okay. say that? What's and his she. job? Okay, so now you have another one star for that one, Long. Okay, so Long, look at the pictures here. Okay, there are five pictures and each of these pictures tell a story. So the title of this story is all about the river. All you have to do is to look at the first picture at this moment. Okay, so John and his sister Sally are walking in the forest. They're going to have a picnic in the field across the river. Okay, now look at the second picture and you tell the story for me. You can do it, Long. Accidentally, after the boy came into another river bank, also river bank, the bridge started to broke to break but the girl hasn't came to the, the other river bank in picture three the boy and the girl came out uh, came down in picture four, there's a crocodile and the girl and trying to eat the girl. In picture five, the girl is riding the crocodile and the boy is feet is leading it by a sandwich. Wow, very good. Okay, so you have one star for that again, Long. Wow, it's nice to know that you can create a story out of these pictures. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to ask you questions based on the pictures, Long. Okay, has John crossed the bridge? Yes, he has. Okay, can Sally cross too? No, she can't because the bridge has broken. Very good. What is Sally doing? She is riding a crocodile. Yes, okay, she is riding a crocodile. What does she want to do? She wants to cross the bridge 
to cross okay. the river. That's right. She wants to cross the river. Very good. What is John saying? He is saying there's a crocodile. All right. Now, what can he see in the water? He can see a crocodile in the water. Very good. Now, where's Sally now? She's on the crocodile. Okay, she's on the crocodile. Very good. Okay, where's the crocodile going? It is going to John. Very good. What's John going to give to the crocodile? He's going to give the crocodile a sandwich. Wow, very good. All right, so give me a, an imaginary high five. Nice. Okay, one star for you again. Okay, so that's it for today's demo. Okay, I mean, that's it for today's demo that is based on the book because I'm still going to ask you more questions. Okay, so are you okay with that one, Long? Yes, I'm okay. Very good. Okay, so now let me ask. I'm going to provide some topics. What do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about food, um, animals, Christmas, um, eating, drinking, fighting sports, exercise? What topic do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about your friends? Maybe... My friend's name is Hung. He is 11 years old. We are at the same secondary school, but not at the same class. But mm -hmm. we always play with each other after school. He Very goes good. to school by bike and comes home by bike to... He is a good player of video games. He he's a very good friend. He's friendly and funny. And sometimes he he's crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy about what? Cra crazy about making jokes? Yeah, and when he get angry, he's crazy too. <laughs> yes. Okay, because each of us has a different attitude when we are hungry, when we're mad when we're happy and when we're lonely okay so is hong your closest friend yes he's my Very best friend good. wow okay how long have you known each other mm, we have known each other for about five years or six years Oh, that's quite a long time. Very good. Okay, so can you still remember the first time that you've met Long that you've met Hong? Mm, I met him when I was a child studying oh no playing some sport, maybe mm -hmm. I don't remember closely, but I met him when he is playing and I want to play with him and his brother. So we be friends. 
Wow, very good. Okay, so have you ever met a person and become friends very quickly? Yes, my classmates. <clears throat> nice. Okay, so that, that means you are a friendly person, Long. Okay, so Long, you did a great job in our demo today. It's nice to know that you can easily understand my questions and you can immediately answer. Okay, using a correct structure of grammar. Okay, actually, at the last part of our class, you did a great job because the uh, the English grammar that you've used are correct. Okay, and you've used a correct structure of grammar. Okay, and you are a great reader too. Okay, and you know how to answer me in a complete sentence. So that is an excellent job for you, Long. Okay, before I let you go, do you have any question, Long? Mm. Any question? I don't know. Yes. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. You don't... I don't know how to... What I'm going to ask you. Oh, uh, there's no question for me to yes. ask you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so I was just... um. I always ask my students if they have question at the end of the class, maybe they have some clarification. They would say, oh, teacher, after this demo, what will happen next? Okay. Oh, teacher, was my English good? Like that. So any question, but it's good to know that you don't have question at all. So, okay, let's call it a day. Thank you so much for joining our demo today, Long. I hope that you learned something from today's demo. And of course, for your excellence in our class, you've got five stars. Bye-bye, Long. Have a great day. Have a great day. Goodbye. Bye. You too.